Now we'll discuss about the anatomy of the axillary nerve or circumflex nerve. It is clinically very important nerve. It is related with the surgical neck of the humerus. So first of all, we make it exam. Capsule of the joint. Long here the biceps. This is capsule. This muscle is intracapsular. And here is in this diagram, this is lesser tubercle. Here is position of subscapular muscle. This subscapular is muscle. It is inserted on lesser tubercle. So this muscle is inserted on lesser tubercle. Now we will make another diagram of from back side. This is diagram from back side. Here is greater tubercle posterior aspect. Here is the capsule of the joint. This is joint capsule. And here this muscle is Peris minor. Here is intraglenoid tubercle. From here, muscle takes origin. That is long head of the triceps. This muscle is long head of the triceps. This is left head of the triceps. And the muscle, which lies here. Inserted on medial leap of bicepital hoop or anterior aspect. In this diagram, this is quadrangular space, this is upper triangular space, this is lower triangular space. Now we will discuss about the axillary nerve. Before starting axillary nerve, we will make a diagram of brachial plexus. Here is C5, C6, C7, C8, and T1. C5, C6, C7, C8, and T1. This is ventral lamina. And C5, C6 joint to form upper trunk. This is upper trunk. This is middle trunk. And here is this is lower trunk. And these three trunks divide into ventral and dorsal division. These are dorsal division. Dorsal division of all three that is going to form posterior guard. So this is posterior guard. And here is lateral guard. This is medial guard. So this is posterior guard. 
posterior card gives five branches upper subscapular, lower subscapular, thoracodarsal, radial, when and one branch is axillary. Here is axillary branch, this is axillary branch. It leaves the axilla by passing through this quadrangular space. Here is quadrangular space. It passes through quadrangular space and along with here is third part of axillary artery along with the posterior circumflex humeral artery. This is a branch of third part of axillary artery. So here is axillary nerve and accompanying posterior circumflex humeral artery. This is posterior circumflex humeral artery. So this is nerve, axillary nerve. Its course is in axilla. It leaves the axilla along with the posterior circumflex humeral artery. It reaches into the squatangular space. From here, it encircles the surgical neck of the humerus. This is surgical neck of humerus. It encircles from posterior aspect. Now, it gives supply to a muscle. takes origin from a chromium process. This muscle is deltoid muscle. So it gives supply to this deltoid muscle and also gives supply to this muscle. This is teres minor. This is teres minor. If you cut a section at this level, you will find here is humerus this is humerus this is biceptal group and here is axillary artery this posterior circumflex humeral artery this is posterior circumflex humeral artery and it accompanied with axillary nerve this is axillary nerve this is axillary nerve and this axillary nerve in this diagram this is deltoid muscle this is deltoid muscle here axillary nerve divides into superficial and deep branch this is superficial branch and this is deep branch this deep branch gives supply to this muscle, deltoid muscle. And anteriorly, it pierces the deltoid muscle and becomes cutaneous. Here, it gives supply to anterior skin, skin up over the deltoid, anterior inferior part of deltoid. Skin over the anterior inferior part of deltoid. Here. So it gives supply to, after giving supply to the muscle, here it becomes cutaneous. Now posterior division, this is posterior division. Posterior division gives branch to this muscle. This muscle is teres minor. Teres minor. Before giving a branch to it, the pseudo ganglion is formed in this now, this branch to teres minor. This is pseudo ganglia. That is father's teeth. It has no nerve cells. This ganglia is false ganglia. It is made up of father's teeth. So this is pseudo ganglia, which again would give supply to this teres minor muscle. And this superficial division gives branch to deltoid muscle and from here it becomes cutaneous 
it gives supply to upper lateral part of the skin over the dendroid and form the upper lateral cutaneous nerva arc. So it becomes upper lateral cutaneous nerva arc. And here clinically this nerve is like just below the this shoulder joint. In this depression of the shoulder, this nerve may damage. If this nerve damage, then it affects the abduction between 15 to 90 degree at shoulder joint. So this is all about the axillary pastor complex nerve.